Come on, Badger. How you doing? Oh, how you doing, buddy? Come here. Come here. Good morning. Can you pound it? <gasps> Good boy. Now that I have my coffee consumed, I'm feeling pumped, I'm feeling energized, I am feeling good. But my apartment is a complete wreck right now and uh, I need to do some cleaning. My life would be a whole lot easier if I actually cleaned up after myself as opposed to procrastinating, cleaning up the mess, and uh, dealing with it later. Well, I wouldn't be spending an entire morning cleaning up my studio apartment if that was the case. But why am I talking about cleaning my apartment? Like, why should you even care? The reason I'm talking about this today is because I want to discuss the difference between organizing and decluttering. These are two completely different terms, yet I see a lot of people using these interchangeably. So let's say you find yourself reorganizing your space a lot more than you think you should. A big reason for this could be because you haven't actually decluttered. There's a big difference here. When you're organizing things, you're taking the same set amount of shit and moving it around. It could be in alphabetical order, it could be more symmetrical, pleasing to the eye, whatever it's still the same amount of shit you're moving around. However, when you're decluttering, you're actually taking those things out of your life completely. So what I mean with all of this is if you declutter, you should be organizing less because there's less things to organize. It's really as simple as that. And I need to do some decluttering today. Ultimately, I wanna go through my whole apartment and declutter, but for right now, we're gonna be focusing on my closet. So uh, let me show you what we have going on here. So we got my shoes, you know, shorts, pants, shirts, jackets, hats, accessories, along with uh, a couple boxes of stuff up there. But that's not horrible. Oh man, this is where it's not pretty. Please forgive me for even showing you guys this and probably making your OCD go absolutely insane. Now I intentionally left this how it's been for about the past week now, and it's been driving me nuts. So uh, it's time to get rid of some stuff and uh, fix my two hoarding problems. Backpacks and cables. I have too many backpacks for too many occasions and too many cables that I don't even use. The way I like to declutter things is basically by taking everything you're considering getting rid of and putting it somewhere. In this case, it's gonna be my bed. So I'm gonna get all of my clothes, all of my backpacks, and put them on my bed. All right, so for right now, we're gonna start with the clothes and then move on to other things. So basically, all I'm gonna do is look at each item and go, do I actually wear this piece of clothing? Because there are so many things that you'd realize you just don't actually wear, including myself. And I would say that I have a pretty minimal wardrobe as it is. Now let me show you guys what I'm getting rid of. So these swim shorts were extremely easy to get rid of. It's like tearing on the back, along the side here, and even in the pocket, there's like this massive tear going on. So uh, yeah, those are going away. Then we got some black shorts I never wear, some tan shorts I never wear. Besides that, we have this really nice jacket, Calvin Klein jacket, but I just never wear it. I have the Patagonia jacket and I love that thing so much. I just never wear this guy. So uh, over here, we got a collared shirt. Again, just something I never wear. Um, we have a shirt I got for free for being a rugged maniac finisher. Uh, this was like a mud run thing. I figured, hey, you know, I could use it and uh, work out in it, but I already have workout shirts and no point. 
So I have loads of black t-shirts. This one is actually from Leica, which is pretty awesome, but unfortunately it doesn't fit me, so I'm sure one of my creative friends is really gonna appreciate that. We got another black tee over here, a black hoodie, just plain black from Hollister. Then besides that, we have this giant, like, Columbia jacket. It is so nice, but I live in Phoenix, Arizona, and I rarely travel to places that need, like, this much. <laughs> Most of the time, my nice thin Patagonia jacket will do the job. If not, I'll double layer and throw like a hoodie with that and I'm good. So I can't even see the next time I could be using this jacket. And uh, that's why, unfortunately, I'm going to get rid of it. So if I ever need to go to the Arctic, then I'll go and get a jacket. But for the time being, this thing has a lot of space and uh, time to say goodbye. All right, I gotta say, I have this narrowed down pretty good to the things that I'm actually wearing. Same thing with my uh, shorts, pants, underwear, and socks. And then also, I took a look at my shoes, and uh, these are shoes that I actually wear quite a bit. So I'm pretty sure these are called fedoras. Um, this one I actually got in Berlin when I was traveling Europe, but unfortunately, the wind blew it into a lake, and it... Uh, it's a little small on me now. <laughs> the water shrunk it, so that's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to get rid of that one, but luckily the sun hat, the summer hat still fits, so now that it's getting hot in Phoenix, uh, I can start wearing this guy again. But for the meantime, we're gonna go black. Back to the black minimal dad hat. Random receipt. I think those were for the new shoes I got, but uh, yeah. So these are some Adidas Ultra Boosts. You think it's time to finally get rid of them? I think so. I took these on that mud run I was talking about, and the water completely trashed them. Even though I'm pretty sure they were trashed before that, so uh, those are just gonna go right in the dumpster. Here's the fun part, cleaning out this mess. Oh boy. Things are looking very good once we have it all cleared out. Do have a couple things down there, but those are there to stay. We got a bunch of stuff. We got a box of accessories for camera gear, stuff like that. We got Peter McKinnon backpack. We have an everyday laptop bag. We have a tr big old travel backpack. We have a camping backpack. So I came to the conclusion that having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven backpacks was uh, mildly excessive. I came up with a solution here, what we're gonna do. So, Peter McKinnon backpack, that is going to be my camera backpack of choice. Kind of important to have a dedicated camera backpack for protecting your gear. Trainual backpack, although it is amazing quality, it's a North Face backpack, I just don't have a use for it anymore. So that I will be finding a new home for. And what will replace that, is my Osprey bag here. I use this for hiking, but I'm now also going to be using it for the gym. So it's a kind of two for one special here. Cause realistically, it's kind of the same thing, just a little bit smaller and uh, it has a hydration reservoir in the back. So perfect gym bag. Then over here we have my camping backpack. This I keep like my first aid, my fire starting material, basically all of the camping essentials. This I'm just gonna have stay in my car for this point on, just permanently, because realistically I don't really need to be taking it in and out when I go camping. So that's gonna go in my car. Over here, case crown bag, basically just a school bag. And guess what? I don't go to school anymore, so goodbye. <laughs> Now, Peak Design Backpack. This thing, it's dope, but I already have the Peter McKinnon bag. I like that better. Maybe not better for everyday stuff, but for all around, that's better. Gonna be selling my Peak Design bag. So I'll add that to the pile. Lastly, this is the Arquito Everyday or uh, Travel Backpack, actually. This thing's dope. I will be keeping it. So that means I am now down to one, two, three bags in my apartment and one bag in my car. So I'm gonna be getting rid of these bags here. One, two, three. Man, that feels really good finally narrowing down the 
hoarding of backpacks I had going on. I had this mindset that I had to have like the perfect backpack for every case scenario, but in reality it's pretty much just a sack with some shoulder straps to carry some shit. So, I mean, yes, some are better for certain situations, that's why I'm gonna have three or four of them still, but I don't personally need seven of them. It's a bit ridiculous. But that was just one of my hoarding issues. The second hoarding issue is this mess of cables over here. So uh, let's sort through the ones I actually need and the ones that maybe I don't need. So basically what I did here is I separated my cables into two separate bins. Things I'm keeping and things I'm not. So this will be going away and now I just need to sort through the things that I'm going to be keeping. Also, just in case you're curious, these are reusable zip ties, so no, I'm not like using them once and breaking them off. They're reusable, and then I can put them in there and then use the cable whenever I need. So I definitely think I narrowed that down quite a bit here. Um, I may actually need a smaller bin to hold all these because there's not very much. <laughs> this is the giant mess I'm getting rid of. And all I have left to do is go through all my camera gear bits and bobs. So uh, let's put this up on the bed and do some sorting. In this case, there actually wasn't too much decluttering. It was more just organizing. Only thing I want to try to get rid of are these... Uh, hard drives here. I'm not sure what's on them, so uh, before I throw them away, I want to be sure they are clear and good to go. Um, but besides that, really, all I have to do now is to basically just uh, put everything where it belongs. Is it being sold? Is it being donated? Or is it going back in the closet? It is looking clean in here. How about that? All I have left here is the box of stuff I'm gonna sell online. So uh, yeah, feeling pretty good about it. Let me sh let me show you the closet though. As far as the shirts and jackets go, we definitely decluttered here. We have loads of hangers left. Actually, uh, we have a surplus of hangers. So not very often uh, that's an issue for people. Usually they're running out of them. And then up here, we just have one of these crates filled with the cables because we don't need another one for my backpack problem. And then over on the side, that was certainly the worst. We are looking very clean. This is kind of like my charging station over here where I can plug in whatever I need for my video equipment. You know, if I have some tech that needs to get plugged in, all that is done right here and I can shut the door. No light is coming out. And then we're nice and organized with all the little bits and bobs over here. Um, maybe eventually I'll try to eliminate that more, but uh, it is what it is. Then we get the backpack, and it's looking very, very clean in this closet. So we can go ahead and shut the door. Well, I definitely think I made some progress on my closet today. I will be doing this whole process for my entire apartment off camera, mostly because it just takes a lot of time to record doing all of this. For me, I just do it every now and then. I mean, ultimately you shouldn't have to declutter if you just control what's coming into your life, but I'm not perfect. I can get lazy, my apartment becomes a mess, and I say yes to bringing some things in my life that I really didn't need. But hopefully you could learn a little bit about decluttering and the difference between that and organizing. If not, maybe I could uh, motivate you to go and clean out your closet. So, uh, Badger, come here. Come on. <laughs> Gonna say goodbye to you guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content I'm making here. And I appreciate you for sticking around. Badger says goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> See you guys later.